Hello everyone, how are you today? So this is a recorded video and this video is captured on, at the uh, 8.28 a.m. in UTC time zone because I have to go out tonight so um, that's why I decided to take a video and upload and I will talk about EuroJPY today as I see an interesting setup on the P wave structure so um, I will show it to you how I looking for the buy chance on the Euro JPY before the breakout. So let me squeeze my face and show the screen. So um, yeah, once again, right now this is at uh, 8:28 in a.m. in UTC time zone. So by the time you watch the video, um, the market might already gone up or up. Up or down. So um, before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. This information today is basically um, based on my own experience. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. So um, let me switch it to the trading view. Okay, so here is a um, so I have posted two comments about uh, markets. One was a Euro JPY, and the other one I commented on the CAD CHF. But in this video, I will talk about the Euro JPY particularly because this is an interesting setup to talk about today. So let me switch it to Euro JPY. And as per the daily chart, um, I expect the market breaks upwards this way. As I posted on my trading view on the J Euro JPY um, about four hours ago, um, I mentioned Euro JPY is bullish as per Ichimoku confirmations below, uh, as, as well as the ascending P wave structure. So I see this market as ascending P wave because the highs are at the same level, almost at the same level. There is a weak, weak high, but in average, this is about the same resistance level in between 130.667 and 130.98. So I will call this as a resistance zone. And I expect the market breaks upwards this way. Because while it's resisted by this line, the market has been bullish. Because if you see the lows, it's getting higher and higher this way. The lows are higher. But the high remains the same, and this is in ascending P wave structure. And I expect the market breaks upwards this way. But before that, um, before the breakout happens, uh, the market also might retest the trend line. So it might go backwards, retest the trend line, and goes up upwards too. So to be safer, you want to wait for the breakout in any ways to look for the buy chance. But um, I like to be in a trade before the breakout happens um, and so here is a reason uh, why because in one hour chart earlier I saw the uptrend now it's flat but in one hour chart uh, the Kumo's flat right now but Kijun Sen flat but Chikou span above the candles and the price is still above that Kijun Sen and Kumo here so this is still bullish as per Ichimoku confirmation, so I expect the market goes up this way. But once the market breaks the Kijun Sen in one hour chart, then I won't look for the buy chance anymore. So that's one. And also um, in 30 minute time frame, this is also flat. In 30 minute chart, it looks like this is completely not flat. So um, I don't think I will look for the buy chance at this stage because the Kumo is completely flat and the price is now below the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen is below the Kijun Sen this is another uh, sign of the range and also Chikou Span is exactly touching the candles so this is the range in 30 minute chart so in 30 minute chart it can go up and down and we're not sure which way it's breaking but we can take this uh, P wave structure in 30 minute chart and it can break towards either direction so I would prefer to look at the one hour chart in this case and expect this P wave breakout upwards this way within the one hour chart. So this is the P wave within the ascending P wave in the daily structure. So once it breaks, then it can go up continuously this way. 
but once it breaks the P wave downwards, then it can go down to Kijun Sen or Kumo. And once the Kumo breakout happens in one hour chart, then it can retest. It can go all the way down to the trend line in the daily chart and it might go up afterwards this way. So whether the P wave breakout happens today or not is the key to look for the buy chance on the Euro JPY. So that's what I'm waiting for at the moment. So I have no positions right now. I'm just watching the Euro JPY for the buying opportunity and also um, touching on the CAD Swiss run. Uh, because um, CAD Swiss run, I mentioned it on this uh, post, just posted just earlier. Um, I expect the market breaks the resistance levels of the uh, one point, uh, sorry, 0 0.7390 and 0 0.7393 level. I expect the market breaks. So because um, this is in the 4-hour chart, but in 4-hour chart, I see the Kumo's up and Kijun Sen up, Tenkan Sen up and Chikou Span above the candles. So I expect the market breaks upwards. However, because the Kumo is at too, th too flat right now, let me enlarge the chart. In this 4-hour chart, uh, Kumo is a bit flat. This is up Kumo. This is bullish Kumo, but the Kijun Sen has been, sorry, the, uh, the Senko Span B has been flat. And uh, the Senko Span A is up. And Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up. Chikou Span above the candles. So this is bullish. But um, in this kind of a situation where the Kumo is a bit too thin, too small like this, the market might be resisted at this level and retrace backwards because uh, we had the resistance level in the past twice. So this might become a third resistance and the market might reverse backwards. So to be safer, um, if you were watching the market this one, you want to wait for the breakout of the resistance line at this uh, 0 0.739 level and afterwards you look for the buy chance is an ideal situation. For now, I think it's better to stay away. Or uh, with a decent risk management, you can uh, look for the buying opportunity. So briefly touching the lower time frame, I watched a 15 minute chart in with the Bollinger Bands and Stochastics. And now the market is flat and this is an Y wave. This is an expanding Y wave. So this is very difficult to take trades in this condition to look for the buying edge. It's very difficult because it's just ranging. So I'm waiting for, first of all, the uh, Stochastic Gold Cross to come and also Bollinger Bands. Uh, I expect the Bollinger Bands can be more squeezing as the market ranges like this. I expect the market range and Bollinger Bands squeezes and Gold Cross comes in and this might become a Fibonacci bounce and once breakout happens this way then I will take a buy or I will wait for the breakout and take a buy here too. So this is the case in 15 minute time frame but right now this is ranging so uh, this is just one of my scenarios for an entry chance and because of this because this is a Swiss from pair uh, the market might volatile the market might be spiky ups and downs. So until I see a decent pushback or a decent uptrend in 15 also or 5, um, I will be staying away. At this moment, um, I don't see any indication as to the market goes up this way. So for now, I just wait. So yeah, and it's all about patience. You know, we have to be patient until a timing comes, otherwise you have to stay away is a key. I used to jump in the market in this condition, for example, like uh, if the market reverses backwards this way, by, by itself I used to take a buy. And I used to get these stop losses once the market reverses backwards, you know, I get these stop losses every time I take trades. So now I follow the major trend 
or I follow the major structure of the market, whether it's a P wave or trend direction, and confirm it in the mid time frames, one or three minute time frames, and then look for an entry edge by five or fifteen minute time frame. So um, let me switch it to five minute chart. So in five, um, gold crosses happened already, but I think this is the only confirmation we have so far. So in this case from here, uh, if the market goes up on the end wave, bullish meaning if the market breaks the previous resistance level in five, then uh, that can be a good setup to buy. But once again, even so, uh, this is very close to the previous resistance level. So to be safer, in 5 minute chart 2, I will wait for the breakout at this 0 0.7393 level and look for buy chance. Yeah, otherwise the market might retrace backwards between these levels and you might be in the loss in that case. It might go down all the way too. So for now, um, these are the scenarios but um, I will just basically wait in this case. So yeah, these are some of the entry chances. And I decided to talk about the entry chance because, um, because uh, I get these comments about the entry chance, how to get these trades, and that's why I will mention about these entry, entry edges more in my future live sessions and videos like this. And in terms of the um, this uh, AUD JPY pair trade, I took a buy yesterday on AUD JPY and closed it already. But the uh, so I placed a buy here after the Tokyo session breakout. This is in the one hour chart. Let me show the Ichimoku structure here. When I took a buy at this price level, eighty three point. 87 there was a Tokyo box breakout and uh, it was a bullish trend break the resistance level and took a buy here and afterwards I exit it here so if I can lower the time frame in five yeah this was exactly my exit timing so uh yeah, it was over here. It was at the 84.27 was my exit timing. So here, once the market reverses backwards, retraces and ranges, goes up and down and start to be on the reverse new wave. This was my exit. And the position was automatically cut because this was where the stop was, stop loss was. So I got the profit of about like a uh, yeah, 40 pips or so. And this was a good trade, but now this is ranging. Looks like the uh, this AUD JPY is now ranging. If I see Ichimoku lines in one hour chart, the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou span is getting closer to the candles, so this is ranging. It might reverse backwards to the Kijun Sen, so at this moment, this is not the good timing to look for buy chance anymore. So um, yeah, so these are some of the trade examples and the exit timings too. And it looks like I've I've uh, screened all these pairs on my watch list just earlier before this video, uh, but uh, almost all the charts are ranging right now in daily chart, four hour chart, and especially this is on uh, Tuesday. And we have big events like FMC and a couple of other big events this week. Uh, I think that that might be the reason why it's ranging. Usually before the big news on that week, it's it becomes range because uh, market is cautious about the outcome of these huge events. So to be safer, um, you can uh, come back to charts maybe next week or after these big events and see um, where the market is going. Otherwise, no trades. When it's ranging, like I mentioned before, uh, you can either backtest and uh, run the strategy. There is a new Forex Tester 5 strategy, uh, Forex Tester, so you can backtest like this tool 
and uh, refine your own trades, confirm your own trades, or you can look back your own trades in the past and learn from these losing trades and winning trades in the past. Or you can read books and you can watch videos like this and take time for your education. Obviously, this is not the good timing to take trades at the moment. So I guess that will be it for today's video. Thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please press a good button. And uh, please um, subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these videos and lives every day. And in terms of the GTS class, the next one coming up is in July. The GTS is the Global Trading School. And this is my hands-on uh, training school. So um, the next one coming up in July and the seats are started to be filled. So if you're interested to join on the July session, please uh, write me an email from the link on the below description and uh, we can have a discussion onwards. So once again, thank you for joining and I hope you have a great day. So stay gold, everyone. Matane. Thank you. Bye for now.